Hello. 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 You okay? Yeah. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Depends when they're listening. <gasps> what? We're going on tour. Oh, you telling them now? We're going on tour. Mm-hmm. We're going on tour. Mm-hmm. We are officially going on tour. It's actually happening. In the diary. There, I was going to say there's outfits planned, but there's actually not. No we do need to think planned. about that. First date. Show has, what we're going to wear. First drop has already been done. So to be clear, we are doing multiple locations. So Five. if you think, oh my God, why Birmingham? You don't have to come to Birmingham. There will definitely be more unless nobody comes to Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, unless nobody comes. If it's me, Beth and Brian, I'm, I'm not doing any more. <laughs> but wait, don't move. Because we're doing stationery. <laughs> Do you like that? I thought you might because the phone was <laughs> ringing. But. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and welcome the Unfiltered Bride podcast. Tips from the top table and beyond. So you know it's going to be juicy. You'll never guess who sponsored the podcast again. It's got to be our favourites, Crafty Lab. If you're an avid listener, you'll know that they are the home of the viral wedding newspapers that I had at my wedding. But we wanted to tell you even more about them, so let's do some quick fire tips. Yes, okay, go. You can fully personalise your newspapers, it's not a template. Each newspaper is completely different and you can write whatever you want, so it's all about you. You can use them anywhere, from ceremony chairs to wedding breakfast tables. Roll them up with string, choose a booklet option or leave them flat, they all look beautiful. They can be fun and functional, crosswords, order a service and taxi numbers. And all those tips I give on TikTok. Think Irish goodbyes, meet the wedding party, your love story, anything and everything. Printed in classic black and white or colour, there's loads of options to make sure they fit your wedding aesthetic. It's easy, they basically do it all for you and I am 100% certain that your guests are going to love it. So make sure you get your order in now. Don't forget to use the code UNFILTERED for 10% discount too. So stationery. No, I feel like we need to talk more about the tour, Georgie. Oh, okay. But I made my joke. (laughs) (laughs) Tour locations. Yeah. Birmingham. Yep. Cardiff. London. Scotland. Manchester. Manchester. Okay. So we're trying to cover all bases. Yeah, yeah. We think that there'll be one close to everybody. And to give you the brief, it's one big hem party, wedding evening. Yes. You're here for a good time, not a long time. Bit of inspo as well. Mm -hmm. Like hopefully you should be at it thinking this is what I want the evening of my wedding to feel like. Yeah. So... I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool. We've got I'm some excited. Amazing things lined up. Yeah. You know we don't do things by half. Yes. So I mean, I don't know what the ticket sales are gonna be like right now when you listen to this because Birmingham may not I don't be know. available. I mean I hope it's not, but equally Well I hope it is sold out. But if people do, if you want more places, if you want more locations, if you want more stuff, just tell us. Let us know and we'll sort it out. But it'd anyway, be fun. Stationary. Should we do stationary or do you want me to tell you one of my stories first? <laughs> do you want to tell me a story? Is that what you want? Mm. I feel like you do have voice you wouldn't have said. Well, I've got two things I want to talk okay, about. Okay, let's go. Only it better be good though. No, it is, and I've been sent it like several times by different people. So let me try what and find it. A it's a TikTok clip. Yeah. Oh lordy. Oh my god. When I say I would just die. Um, are you ready? No, I don't know if I'm ready. Set off a hotel room sprinkler, soaking everything, including her dress. The incident was detailed in a social media thread where it was alleged that the sprinklers went off after a wedding planner, described as having no common sense and careless, hung the bride's wedding dress on the sprinklers in the hotel room because she wanted to capture a full length photo of the dress. Even though. But, so, right. So, the, the images, if anybody wants to go and find it, it's literally on the Daily Mail. Um, the photos are horrific. Like, I've the sprinklers seen. have gone on. And everything in that space is absolutely totally ruined. Right. Let's bring it back. She had no common sense, but like, what does the sprinkler look like? Does it look like a sprinkler or does it and not also, look like a sprinkler? And also, she doesn't, so she doesn't want a whole photo of the dress. It would have been, there would have been a photographer in there. Yeah. There would have been more than, mm. I'm not defending her because that's stupid. And also I have found out that she didn't have any public liability insurance. That's so they're fucked. She's problem. fucked. They're fucked. But what do you do? We're all fucked. We're all fucked. I've got more things to tell you actually. But Wait, what, but do you, what would you do? What, no, what would you do? You're a wedding uh, if I, I just, I just <laughs> jump out the window. <laughs> would you die? I, it, that, yeah. <laughs> no, what, you have to fix it. <laughs> Everything's ruined. I mean, I I'd be reckon, like, right, we're going to town. I'll get some new bridesmaids. I literally, I reckon I could get dresses. 
I mean, they wouldn't be right, but I reckon you could get dressed it. I'm just, I'm trying to think about what I would do if it wasn't me that hung it on the sprinkler. Cause I feel like I'd be better in like, right, let's fix this. Also, how much time are we talking? Like we got to delay shit. We got to, yeah. we got to push back some stuff. I reckon I could find a wedding dress. I think we could make it work. I, I think I would ring everybody that I knew and would be like, cause you'd have, you, the hair and makeup. That's fine. You can sort that. Yeah, but their stuff is ruined. Yeah, but like what, like really. You'd use your own stuff, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, like you'd be fine. <sighs> Hair and makeup, sorted. Dresses, not being funny. I'd just be like, can you put Could you dry it? Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not like you've got mud on them and you need to wash them and dry. Like, it's... That's a show. If you're in like a hotel, yeah, take it down to the laundry. Dry. Oh, go to a laundrette. Fuck me. I just wear it wet down the aisle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many people's dresses get ruined the morning of the wedding. A lot. Because it's got to happen. Makeup. I did do a tip the other day about washing your hands in the morning because mm-hmm. the amount of people that pull it on and then it's literally mm-hmm. just foundation on the top of their thing. But... That's mad. <sighs> Things go wrong, but not that wrong. That is that is horrific. That's probably the worst thing. You'd stop being a wedding planner from that moment. <laughs> but also that is pretty dumb. Like I wouldn't hang it on anything that was Yeah, like... but if it didn't look like a sprinkler, that's what it's, I'm trying to say. I mean, they look, uh, you can't hang it on something like that. A sprinkler, a sprinkler has got, unless she's hung it on the pipe that goes to the sprinkler. That's what I think she's done. I think everyone's making it like... Uh, it's, imagine if that was your wedding though. I know, The I photos know. make me want to cry for them. Okay, give me your next story. That went on to my next thing. It's actually a really sad story, but I wanted to know what you would do. Oh, I don't want sad it's not, stories. I mean, it is sad. Basically, long story short, I spoke to a photographer, the, videographer the other day who was doing a wedding and the the father of the bride hadn't turned up. So they sent somebody to what? his house to go and get him and he died. Oh my God. Hold on. Sorry, why? Hold on. Hold on. They went on with the wedding. What? They did the wedding. Huh? They still did the wedding. The fuck? Would you do the wedding? Was my question. So when I heard that story, I was like, oh my God, that's horrific. But did she know, the bride know? Yeah. Well, yeah, her dad wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, but did they not say like he's had an accident or something? Don't worry no, about it. No, no, like, she they... knew he died. The fuck? And it was like a sudden, it wasn't like a... a illness. Yeah. Or... No. I don't think, but then... No. I know, but two sides of it. You spent 50 grand on a day. Like, bet, this is your can... cue to get wedding insurance. How can you walk down the aisle? I don't know, that's what I mean. walking with your dad... The morning of the wedding. And have a drink, eat food, have speeches. And party. The fuck? I cannot believe that wedding still Is happened. Is that legit? Yeah. He was he was the videographer and he was like, she's never even watched the videos I've sent her. Uh, what? Why would you do the wedding? I feel, uh, I, I, I know, that's where, that's where I was at. Because if my dad that's died so the morning. Sad. Even if somebody. Okay, let's play a game. <laughs> Which level of talking about stationery? <laughs> Sorry. Which level of person would you still carry on your wedding if they died? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to know. No, but you know. Okay, so you know, no matter what, if your mum died, would you still do your wedding? No. If your nan died, would you still do your wedding? No. If your if a bridesmaid died? No. If a partner of a bridesmaid died? <laughs> Maybe. Depend <laughs> if I like them. <laughs> yeah, but surely the bridesmaid's not coming. Nah, she'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, a, an auntie, an uncle? Depends how close. What about a friend? Just a mate, just dies. Still Depends doing the wedding. Close. Depends yeah, if, it, your, if they're at your wedding, they're pretty close. Jack's mate or my <laughs> mate. <laughs> I just think it's mad, isn't it? It's scary and mad. Oh, oh yeah. Do you want to know? If, <laughs> I don't know if I can say this. It's too late. You started it. Um, Do it. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> we had a client um who didn't like was um and ahhing about her table plan because she didn't know whether that person was going to be in prison or not the fuck he was on trial did he go to prison or not i think so <laughs> i just put little bars I think, he was on on tri- I think he was on trial for like murder or conspiracy no. to murder or like hijacking like you know like the car person that mur- like literally and I was like, Jesus. surely you just wouldn't want them at your wedding. Yeah, then. I was in, retract. Can innocent, you retract an invite? Innocent until proven guilty. Don't give me that shit. You sound like <laughs> Brian. With the whole Russell Brand drama. I went, I went on holiday and I met someone that knew Brian. Was it a police it was man a or woman? Police woman. woman. Oh, he from his old days. that she had been married to Brian before. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what would you do if you found out that Jack had been married before and he hadn't told you? Come on, guys. Just let me know now. <laughs> let me know but now. that's grounds for splitting up, surely. A hundred percent. Okay, just checking. A thousand percent. What if he'd been engaged before and hadn't told you and then was like, uh, look, I didn't think I need, I didn't want to upset you. Well, I've asked him if he's been engaged before. He said, no. have you? <laughs> Brian, I've never asked. Have you ever been engaged before? No 
<laughs> I don't know how I feel about that because <laughs> this sounds really like selfish, but like you wanted to marry someone else. Whether you went through with it or not, you yeah, got down Yeah, but it's the same as going out with someone. No, you wanted to marry them. Yeah, but when you're going out with someone, you the end goal is marriage, surely. Yeah, but like, I want to be the only person you marry. <laughs> what about next man's? No. <laughs> <laughs> what if you'd been engaged before? I mean, I'm surprised I haven't been, mm, but... Um, with all those requests. Yeah. Um, I wonder how many people, what the percentage of people that get engaged that don't ever get married are. Yeah. Should I, should I look? Yeah, let's look. Okay, you keep talking about something else. You tell me a story whilst I look. Um, that, that was my story, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Percentage of engaged. Because I've had a few cancellations. Oh my gosh, I've had loads of cancellations. Yeah, it's been a weird year. It's been a really weird year. What are your main reasons? They don't really ever tell me much. I love it. <laughs> this sounds horrible. I don't love it, but I love it when the, again, girl power... Um, the woman will email and be like, "So and so's cheating on me. I've copied him in." And I'm like, I've <laughs> look at this number. The average, the average engagement is twelve to eighteen months long, and about twenty percent of all weddings are called off after the engagement. Mm. What? I do feel like weddings and wedding planning and all of that is very stressful. And I also, agree. What I don't freaking understand is i've had it on multiple occasions people have cancelled like four months out three months yeah. out because they found out that people have cheated and do you know what it always happens around january why after christmas parties told you this oh, before oh yeah the work christmas party that's okay brian's only uh colleague is <laughs> me, me. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah 20 percent though i don't i don't think i get 20 percent cancellations though no I, I get quite a few though but also people say to me about wedding insurance i'm like you don't that doesn't cover you for breaking up yeah no be, wedding insurance covers skint. that literally no no insurance will cover you for also that. guys if you are cancelling don't be a dick yeah preach <laughs> and also like <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault it's not, it our, not fault our fault that you are sp splitting up if we refunded everybody that split up we would not have we do 20 percent of 20 percent of our income yeah. but it's not it's because i understand like i totally get it and it must be putting you aside heart, the horror yeah i do have a heart and and if it was something like if somebody died genuinely then it's totally different but Absolutely. deposits are there for a reason like the deposit pays for all of the pre-stuff yeah a lot of that deposit we've spent doing your pre-admin that yeah. you don't even realize mm. like the software we use to yeah, book yeah, you yeah. in yeah like, all the contracts and yeah. Paying, but yeah, yeah yeah i agree so if you do split up i'm sorry i do feel bad for you equally you might have dodged a bullet look you can keep it also... as credit for your next wedding would you let them do that <laughs> we've given like it again depends on the situation yeah, like yeah, yeah. we had um obviously someone's family member died we just said look we'll hold it for you yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're ready come back to us yeah i had somebody who uh, had some health issues and things and they were like we're delaying the wedding and i was like cool yeah fine but that also does put us out even though yes. people think oh like like we've lost a date yeah yeah mm. uh -huh. anyway, anyway, anyway it's not about sorry. us it's about you it's not about us but if i if you do email me to say that you're cancelling i do want to know why <laughs> <laughs> i do always say i hope you're okay <laughs> aka who <laughs> tell who me did it <laughs> um should we do stationery stationery or should i bitch about one more thing no i'll bitch about it at the end um <laughs> no i feel like i need to know it now i just want to bitch about a band Go on. I'm not going to say the name of it because I'm not a dick. But Do I know them? No, I'd never heard of them before. <laughs> they They turn up to a wedding. No. So I've done some of the planning with it. So I've emailed to be like, who's going to be there? Food, blah, 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 dietaries, blah, blah, blah. The reply back was like, yeah, we've got two people there all day doing sound and thingy. And then the band arrive at six. Cool. So I'll sort out two daytime food and then five, seven of them evening food. Right, cool. They arrive at 6 p.m., can I just say, yeah. bands, They're, you bring oh. so many bloody people for supplier meals. Ridiculous. Yes. And also... Redonkulous. Not all bands, and I will say this very, very clearly, not all bands, but a lot of bands, are, you're, you're just hard work. It's, it's hard work. It's rock and roll lifestyle, isn't I it? I know, but bring a fucking sandwich. You bring a sandwich, home. No, but I'm there all day. So anyway, let me get to my story. <laughs> so they turn up you at know six... that argument. No, I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I stopped myself. They turned up at six o'clock... I'm sat with the other suppliers. So there's photographer, two photographers, two videographers, hair, makeup, and me all sat in there because the hair and makeup were there all day because they were doing blah, blah, blah. I love hair and makeup all day. Yeah, did she changed styles and everything. It was brilliant. I love it. If you can afford it. Yeah, it was, it was a vibe. But she spent a lot of time having hair and makeup mm -hmm. done. So it depends what you want. Anyway, they turn up and he comes over to me. He's like, 
when's our food? And I was like, oh, so I've got two for the people that are here all day and then the rest of you guys are evening food. What do you mean by evening food? You, you've come for the evening, so you're evening food. What time's evening food? 10 o'clock. Well, it's too late. Okay, well, you've just, you've just come. We need daytime food. And he is talking to, I, I can't even remember what he said to me because try I've tried to block it out. He was so rude to me in front of all the other suppliers. Like, and I'm quite, I don't want to, I don't want to fight on a wedding day. I'll be quite nice on a wedding day. Find me after, I'll knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like. Left, right, good night. He literally, <laughs> he literally said to me, if you don't get me daytime food, we're going home. That is like the man the other week. You know, the one that was like to move your car. I literally wanted to cry. And all the other suppliers. And I was like, you've literally just come. We've been here all day. He was like, well, we've driven here. I was like, but I'm confused. Didn't you stop and have food? Like if I'm, if I'm, I'm not expecting someone to give me breakfast. Like you can't, I'm not expecting to be fed all day, but you've turned up at 6 p.m. They played for three hours. You've not even done any work. Three hours they played for. They didn't even play for that long because they obviously had breaks in between. And he literally demanded daytime food. And I was like, well, I can go and find out what there is. But obviously thinking, and I was like, you can just have mine. And he was like, okay. I was like, you're a fucking dickhead. And now if anybody tells me that they're working with them, I will literally say, don't work with them. They were awful. I want to know more. I, I don't know. what I cannot remember what he said to me. But when I came back in, even the other suppliers were like, are you all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. But like, you don't, you don't need to be a dickhead. And he was the front guy of the band. Mm. So, I, and I said to him, I was like, I've been emailing your, I don't know, PA, whatever it was. He's like, well, he wouldn't have said that. I was like, I can literally find the email. And he wouldn't let me find the email. But it was, or it wasn't, you know, when you just filed it and I couldn't find it. I was like, I literally said there'll be two people there all day and the rest of you come in later. And now you've come and you have, and I'm not joking, had literally, literally just arrived. That's like me going, hi, I'm not doing anything until you feed me. He, that he was like, well, well, I'm well within my rights to leave then. Fuck off then. I know. I Literally, I was here and I was like, <laughs> well, I can't ruin their wedding day. And then the photographer was, was everybody then hated him at that point because he was incredibly rude. <laughs> I love how everyone gangs up on yeah, that yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah. Like, if you're going to be a dick. Because you literally walked in and was a total dick. Like you could have said it in yeah. a totally different way or could have said, can we talk about it somewhere? It, rather than doing it in this like supplier staff room thing um but the photographer was like i'm not fucking taking any photos of him and then on our way out we were kind of leaving and the bride and groom were saying goodbye to that guy and they were like can you take a photo with us and she was like <sighs> tried to walk away and then they literally called her down so i think she took it and put her thumb like <laughs> over the edge of the camera he's just a bell end like there's no need to be rude and that's the thing it's like you know you like again you get taken back by it and then you've got to i was show shook. up and then you've got to like <laughs> fucking boss up yeah. and then it's just like come on i purposely then did not speak to him for the rest of the night because i still had to do like first dance they were announcing mm. the cake cutting so every time i went to the drummer <laughs> <laughs> just to be like just to let you know the bride and groom ready for the first dance and then he'd have to go the bride and groom ready for the first dance but i was like don't Petty speak to me like that you'd like there's no need to speak to, I, do, I get what you're trying to say ask me and i'll try and find if there's stuff mm. if not it's your own fault like ugh. anyway so check your contracts with the bands, guys, in all seriousness, because some of them can be really difficult. Mm -hmm. One of them, I don't know if they read this wrong, but asked for a, a cake, a homemade, like a, a homemade cake to mm -hmm. be there for them. So my bride had made a cake to have. And I was like, is this a fucking joke? The riders are in. I might start making a rider. I need a boost bar when I arrive. <laughs> <laughs> love a boost. <laughs> fucking love a boost bar. Um, what, would you be, what would you be on your rider? Diet Coke. Yeah. Sour Patch Kids are, are like Aaron has them every single event. They're just like that boost of energy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, mm. I know. I I definitely want a boost. I'd I have like, like. I'd like a nice meal. I'd like three courses. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like a butler. <laughs> what else? At would, hot tub. Oh no, because we got to be. Let's be realistic. Actually, fuck it. Bands aren't realistic. No. Are they? <laughs> I would like a drink with ice because I do like ice. I'd like a boost literally, bar. Yeah. I'd just like a di diet coke, some snacks. Yeah. A meal and I'll a keep comfy seat. Oh, maybe someone doing foot massages as well. Oh, I'd smash, I'd, uh, yeah, I'd do a lot. I'd smash a, a foot massage. <laughs> I can't speak to you, I'm so tired. Uh, anyway, uh, should we do stationery? I haven't got time for that in the day though. I don't know where these people are finding time. No, this is the only problem. If you, well, yeah, but if you're a band and you turn up at six, I'll just turn up at I'd five and I'm smashing a boost bar whilst I'm going to the, for a wee probably. That's the only time I've got. I don't I'm go to the with, toilet. Me neither, it's because you don't drink enough. No, I know. You don't I know, drink know, enough so you don't go to the toilet because you just, just doesn't stop. No. Mm. Anyway, shall we do stationery? Yeah. Um, start from the beginning. Okay, go on then. Save the date. So we did a little bit on invites before, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Save the date, digital or in person. I like a physical save the date because I think that's what they keep. And then I did all my invites online because okay. I didn't want to pay for them. With a save the date, mm. do you need to be like, will you be coming? 
Or is it just, here's save the date? <laughs> That's a very good question. So mine I went- it was, <laughs> I don't. That's what I genuinely wanted to know. <laughs> so mine went straight to the website, which was then RSVP on the website. Okay. I should have put an RSVP by date. Forgot that. <laughs> My fault. Because because it was save the date, Where's it was a bit Brian? more gray. I need Brian to be like, the wedding planner. He didn't have a you... fucking clue. He didn't have a clue what, when they were meant to be back. Who was replying? When he burnt you so bad that episode. Yeah. That, do you know what? And since that episode, there's been so many times where I've been like, remember when that happened, we had to pay for it out of the buffer that you wouldn't let me have. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> Brian got love and hate that episode, didn't he? Love and hate. You all fancy him, but you all think he was... My problem is that we had a few comments that were like, it should be more equal and blah, blah, blah. But it's not. It's just not. Like, it can be. If there's guys that want to be involved, absolutely cool. But... <sighs> It's just not. Everyone's different. Yeah. Everyone has different relationships. Everyone's I think Brian relationship. is a very stereotypical Typical man. man. And that's the, I reckon. For the age of people getting yes, married. 80% of my couples Ooh. have the same dynamic as me Brian. and Brian, in my experience. Yeah. But everyone's different. Each their own. Anyway. Okay. But I also have the same where I really fancy him and think he's a bell end. So, you know. Yes. Funny world, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so save the dates. I went to a website because I didn't want to send invites. But if you're doing save the dates and then invitations, I don't think you need an RSVP from okay. a save the date. Cool. Um, How far out? I can't remember what we said last time. I know, I'm going to test you. I can't remember. It depends. It depends on so many things. I reckon as soon as you've bloody got the date in, send them. It depends if it's like a Saturday in June. Yeah. Like you need it ASAP. But I agree. I would just send, send it out. Send them out. We did ours January for the December. No, we did December for December because we did it with Christmas cards. So a year out. Yeah. But that was, again, because it was New Year's Eve. But everyone you knew, you spoke about it anyway. Uh, this is the thing. Again, it's, we had so little numbers that mm. I could have literally just rang everyone and said, are you coming to the wedding? And for like 50% of them, I had to be like, Beth, are you coming? Shall I RSVP for you? Shall I book your hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, I want to focus more on on the day stationery. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just... I know. Through. All right, hurry up. What else do you want? Um, Invites? Yeah, do them. Digital, in person. I like digital, but... Okay. Sometimes. Wedding websites. Honestly, it will save you so much time. You can do Money. the table plan. You can yeah. do the RSVPs. Yeah. Everything's on there. Honestly, don't double do the work. Double dip. Wedding website. They're great. Yeah. I just I highly recommend. Even if you do invites, do wedding websites because they're just easy. I might, maybe I should try and find the link to ours and that I'll share it so you guys can have a look. Okay. Um, I just, oh, we did a whole thing on this. Let's do on the day stationery. Well, that's what I'm getting to. Okay, get there. Um, okay. Welcome sign. So I just want to start by saying that station is one of my favorite things at a wedding. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make that very clear. Thanks for letting me know. Like one of my favorite things at a wedding. Okay, great. Very cheap and effective way of being personal. Okay. And aesthetic. Okay. Or do you have to stationery <laughs> well in advance so you don't do what Georgie did and ring That's not my before. fault. That wasn't well, my fault. Well, it is your fault. You're a wedding planner you can't and you do... left it last minute. No, you can't do a table plan earlier than that. We didn't even know if his family were coming from Australia. <laughs> People don't understand. You can be right. the type A-est type A bride ever type and a still plus. stuff you can't do until last minute. Okay, welcome sign. Welcome yes sign. No. 100%. Order of the day. Yes. You don't, you don't love an order of the day, do you? Mm. I'll admit that nobody reads them. <laughs> I'll admit that, no, you don't, okay, you don't need one. Okay. A welcome sign, I think, is a, is a need. Genuinely, also, if you have evening guests coming, because my dad went to the wrong wedding once. <laughs> 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 to the evening, dude, like, walked in and was like, they obviously didn't know many people anyway. Yeah. And we're looking around like, oh. And then saw a welcome sign and was like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's one of the crypts, you know, like, there's stone crypts and crypts. Yeah. They went to the wrong ones. So How funny. Like, oh, Honestly, God. it's very them. Um, okay. So welcome sign, absolutely, definitely. Order of service. Can I go back to welcome sign and say I flip and love the new one where it says, welcome to Georgie's wedding featuring Brian. <laughs> I would have had that if I'd seen that prior to marrying him. Okay. What would you have? Uh, I'd have a big statement one with florals. and. Would you go big on a welcome sign? Yeah. Would you then move the welcome sign? No. I don't like it when it's outside and everyone's in. I normally try and then move it. Mm. I just want to use it, especially if you're doing statement. Get a bloody good easel. Just don't buy hobby craft easels. They oh, really? don't stand up. No, that's true. The legs go, you don't they? You need the iron metal easels. I like the frames. All the frames, yeah. How do you feel about the IKEA frame? It's like a coat rack. You do you? I like it. When people spray in black, they look nice. Yeah. Okay. Or we'll just hire one from us. That's also true. <laughs> Big ass welcome sign. Yep. Statement. Yep. Yeah. What are you putting on your welcome sign? Welcome to the wedding. You putting the date? Yeah. You doing anything with that welcome sign after? No. Okay. I think ours is in garage. 
In garage. In, in garage. <laughs> I was up north the other day. So. Yeah, I think nice, simple, not too fancy. Is it supposed to hint at the theme of the wedding? Yes. Okay, fine. We need to set the vibe throughout. Agreed. I think when fonts match. Oh, well, no, it, you have to. If fonts don't match, that's red flag. I'm leaving. <laughs> red flag. I actually... I, this lazy, that. Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it is, like, just make the fonts match. Okay, so welcome sign. Essential. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. First hint of the day. Like, that's first impression to me. You yeah. see the venue, and then you see the welcome sign. Okay. If you've got a crappy little welcome sign, just propped up against a wall. Mm-hmm. Nah. Size of welcome sign. Bigger the better, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here for these little A3. Not for a... What's a wel- what's What's A3? A3 is like double A4. It's like a poster, isn't it? Yeah. That you do at school. Yeah, no, a bit bigger. A5. I like A... So that's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's half an A4, isn't it? The amount, of times, the amount of times A1. I've Googled the sizes to do for our stationery. A1. Mad. I like an A1. Yeah, I agree. I think your uh, table plan, welcome sign, and order of the day should all be A1. Do you know what A1 is? Big, big. <laughs> that was the size of mine, wasn't it? You literally wanted A5 a minute ago. If I forget that's which like way round it goes. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, quickly. Horizontal, vertical uh a vertical nice agree i think it just then tall mm-hmm. I, d- I don't think i've ever seen a horizontal one you have they go on easels and they go like welcome oh no definitely i like them when they're hanging nice. yeah um okay yeah okay so welcome sign we've figured out order of service so do you, if you have a church do you have a welcome sign at the church and at the venue do i you like it? to and i normally offer to then take it over to venue because okay. again we're not going to leave it there okay but also, if I had to pick between the two, I'd put it at the venue. Agree. But it's a nice feature outside a church. church. Order of service for church? Yes. You have to, the I think. Hymns. Yeah, because people don't know the hymns. <laughs> and I go to a lot of weddings, I still don't know the I hymns. Still don't know hymns. Jerusalem gets me, though. I love a bit of Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've then got magazines, newspapers. Magazines? Mm. That might be bougie. Yeah, I've seen someone do like a Vogue style magazine. Nice. Cool. Wait, let's wait. Let's stick to our big. I feel like no, we. No, to... this okay. is the order. Are you of doing the day? in the order of the actual yeah, daytime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are we saying that you have to have an order of the day? No, I'm not on order of the day yet. What? What's on the magazine then? Well, yeah, you can put an order of the day <laughs> in the magazine. I'm not talking big like. So we're at ceremony the... point, is what you mean? Yes. Okay. Or transport point, or you know, me people put the newspapers like in the transport. Oh yeah, I had them on. in the taxis. You eye rolled, and I was like, you did this. No, no, no. I was thinking about <laughs> what. Yes. Yeah. I like them. I think they're great. I think they're interactive. I think they're fun. I think a newspaper is kind of a have to have now. Yeah. And I think if you've got that like period of time where people are going to read them. Yes. I think if you're going straight in ceremony. Yeah, but even when you're sitting in for the ceremony, there's nothing waiting. worse than being sat waiting yeah. and feel like you have to talk to someone. At least in the mag- in the in the newspaper and stuff, you can kind of yep, agree. time filler. Um, what would you include in the newspaper then? A little bit of background story yeah. funny stories yeah. um photos word search yeah okay so like fun nothing too informative then like rough order of the day okay yeah hmm. what we i put what you really want to know these are the times you're eating yeah food food yeah. and then dance <laughs> yeah <laughs> um okay so we finished the ceremony oh are you having an unplugged ceremony sign i don't think you need them what about a sign personally oh, i'll find the sign because even when you have them, people don't use them. I think you have to have it announced that this is an unplugged ceremony. I think even Please if you have a sign, you've still got to say phones. it. If you do, you'll be kicked out. Agreed. I liked this sign. It said, no sides, just good vibes. Please sit where you'd like. Yeah, I like that. But I also feel like if there isn't like a reserved seat for people, people will just go what side they want anyway. Yeah, agreed. So they're nice to haves, I guess. I guess it depends on how many points you've got. Because that one that I looked at, had that sign they had a welcome sign at the bottom and like at the entrance then you go all the way up the stairs for the ceremony and then there was the sign there mm-hmm. so when there was like a point for when walking in which kind of showed you where the ceremony was then there's nothing worse than two like i've had it before where people have got unplugged signs i'm like look i can't put like especially on the big frames yeah there's nowhere for me to put them without agree. tripping people up agree you need to think about how long the walk is and yeah. if there's anywhere to even put it so there's no point spending the money on it if it's not going to no. be used next some his and hers cocktails oh, i just i love stationery i, I think love that's it good. so drinks much. reception stationery is good 
Sip definitely. and solve. Definitely. I'm excited to see some sip and solves. Yep. I wish I had a sip and solve. I know you really wanted to do I know, one. No, I couldn't you? figure out how to do it. I kind of saw it last minute as well, yeah. and I was like, this is too many things. Anyway, more signage. Okay, so we've got so we've got a table plan. I'm assuming that's going in the place where we're yep. getting everyone. Please can we cut, try and remember about bottlenecking? I have a bit of an issue with bottlenecking at weddings. Because everybody How do you stop that then? Well, you have to put it somewhere where it's not at a door. Like you don't want it in the door frame. Okay, give us another option. Just then. in the room a little bit more, no, or and then out the room a little bit. Bottlenecks in the room. No, no, because they come a single no, no. line into the thing. It's you a, want them to go in groups to the table plan. It's a I don't want it. It's not. Situation. Yeah, but it's not a one per one. I'm not having that. No, more than one set of eyes can look at the table plan. That is just ridiculous. No, disagree. Thank you. Right. When you go into the room, Thank picture you. this room here where we're at. Thank you, Mike. No, would you? Put, where would you put the table plan? Just inside. Like right by that door frame. Uh, not right by it. No, so you do it inside so more than one person can look at it then. Yeah. Right, that's what I was saying. Right. Uh, anyway. Um, name places, menus, table numbers. There's a lot of stationery at a wedding, isn't there? Yeah. Mm. My favourite is um, name place, menu, all in one. On the place setting. Agreed. And it sits really nicely on a charger plate with Question. a napkin. Mm-mm, sexy, sexy, sexy. Do you need a menu though? No, but it looks good. Okay, <laughs> fair. I just think a menu sits so much nicer on a place setting than just a name. Like I think it depends what else get, you've got on no, the thing. A name gets lost. Sorry. Heard it. Like, that is that. <laughs> Heard it here first. Heard it here first. That is that. A name place gets lost. Yeah, okay. And also, people want to know what they're eating. Like, come on. I do think a menu on the table is necessary. Nah, I just don't like on the table place setting, please. Mm. Like, they're like pound ninety nine. To do a menu name place. Each? Yeah. That's expensive. I don't know why you say that. Like, that's, that's cheap. cheap. It's not. Not by the point of doing the wedding. When they're like, cool, I've got 100 people to get now. That's, that's 200 pounds on fucking paper. Sorry, that's cheap. I cannot I cannot wait until she's getting married and we're going through all this stuff. And I she's like, I'm not fucking buying free. these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this is why I made some of mine. Because yeah. I was like, I'm not paying I'm for not all this. I'm not against not making them. Download something on Etsy for four quid and print them. I don't care. Um, can we promote my one instead of Etsy? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now promote our one. Oh yeah. We did it first. <laughs> Depends what you got. It's my strut cards that I like. Okay. Um, but yeah, don't do it yourself. Like I'm, I'm all for that. I yeah. just think a menu name place absolutely bombs. Oh, we forgot reserve signs in the ceremony. Yeah. Shit, there's so much. We'll try and do a list in a second. Um, okay, so what else is going on the tables? Name, name card is a must. Yep. Absolutely have to. Table Menus number. Menus is not a must, but it's advised. Yep. Table number or name. Yep. Is a must. Yep. All right, can I just say, <laughs> can I really say, I'm really not here, really not here for these, oh snap, bits of paper on the table. Explain that better though. Like, like snap a picture of the bride, snap a picture of someone... But explain in what format you don't like that. Just They're just always placed on the tables. And okay, so your issue is with stuff being flat on the tables then. Just junk. Okay. How did you feel about my table talkers? They were fine. Fine, cool. That's what I was checking because I'm about to talk about them. And yeah, table talkers are great. Um, just... I agree. I don't really think stuff that, lying down f- like... Not thought about. Agree. Or, or when they prop them up against stuff. Mm-hmm. And you're like, mm. where am I, what am I doing this? Yeah. Okay. So gold frames I like. Yeah. If you're going to put a menu on a table rather than lying it down flat, can we get some gold frames? Yep. Or you table talkers. So they are like, you can make these at home. I did have them printed. They're like Pringle Pringle tubes again, but a triangle version. (laughs) They do triangle Pringles. No, they're called something else. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dorito ones? No. (laughs) I don't know. Or they're just... They're just a triangle of paper. So you can fold it into three, leave a little bit and stick them together. And it's just stand up a million times better. Um, I have a bit of advice. I think I've said Go it on. before, but if you're getting married in a marquee and you're setting it up the night before, please do not put your stationery out because it mm. gets moist. And wrinkles. Damp. Crinkles. When you stand it up in the little You'll things. Like and then the next day I've got to try and bend it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I'll tap it. Ooh. No, what's that thing? I can do that noise of that thing. No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> I'm normally better at it than that. Don't do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I'm covering my mouth because on the Brian will zoom in on this and I don't oh want no, to. I had to put my hand over the microphone to not laugh so loud because I get told off. <laughs> <laughs> don't cover your face. I can't because my tongue has to try it. Can I visualize this? 
Try it at home. It's actually a really enjoyable noise to make. What are they called? You have to try it then if you've made me try this 50 times. <laughs> what are they called? I don't know, like... There you go. Ready? Don't get confused by my clip and their clip. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of close. Oh. <laughs> anyway. How do you get to that? Um... Oh, we were saying about the oh. stage room. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no putting. If anything, lie it all down, and I'll put it out just before. Otherwise, Georgie's gonna start making that noise. Oh. Anyone, isn't it? <laughs> it's like that cat. You know that the cat's like. <laughs> you said that like cat. <laughs> it's like a fur um, Oh, what a day! What was on my table talkers? Then hold on, let me find what was on there. No, I don't mm. like oh snap, and I don't like <laughs> games. Oh, okay. I'll read out my table talkers then. <laughs> No, the table talk is fine. I just think it's like, it's got... Your actual issue is with stuff, loads yeah, of just stuff littering it. Yeah, it's got intention. So we had on ours, one side it said the bar. Yeah. Help yourself to drinks on the tables or head to the bar for a bigger selection. Cocktail, spirits, wine, prosecco, beer, cider, soft drinks, blah, blah, blah. On the next side, it says speeches, drinking game. Agree on a word from below as a table. So bridezilla, so proud, wedding, soulmate, someone cries, family, blah, blah, blah. Every time you hear that word drink. Um, our word was family. Was it? Mm. Oh, that was a good one. And then half the table stopped playing. Oh. And then it was at like the back half of the table. And we were like, drink, drink. drink. <laughs> um, and then we had the food and it had the menu on. Mm, I'd eat that again. Um, we then had a table talker on the bar and we had welcome to the bar as a cute one. And then on the back, it had the cocktail list. And then on the back of that, and then on the next side, it had drink selfie, grab a drink and strike a pose, upload so we can see your progression through the night. Did anyone do that? Yeah. A few. I didn't read that. Again, this is the thing that's like, it didn't cost me Anything. much to have there. So if nobody did it, I wouldn't be offended. But equally, if anybody did, it's funny. Fine. No, I mean, no, I mean, no. Um, evening food signs? Let me have a look at what sign, what struck cards I had. So I had his and hers cocktails, whiskey and cigar bar. Yeah. Because my, why I liked the signage is because when I was thinking, picturing the picture of that little area, I wanted them all to have a little sign. Mm-hmm. And it just looked, it looked lovely. Um, pizza menu. Yeah. And this is where I renamed my pizzas. So if you've got evening food or something, speak to something, you can name it whatever you want. And then it just, again, a little bit of personality. So I had Georgie's basic bitch margarita. Brian's meat feast. <laughs> Brian's meaty treat. And then a New Year's bang, <laughs> which was spicy. <laughs> um, I had dance floor prop shop. Help yourself. Yep. Uh, we had, oh, we did, um, some welcome drinks for the evening guests so we had welcome grab a drink it's time to catch up (laughs) uh there's one that says oh snap (laughs) hashtag just mitched i think that was with the photo stuff i don't know why but oh snap just yeah it looks pretty (laughs) (laughs) yeah what would you write nothing so what's on your sign i feel like you're not gonna have any signage at your wedding no i will but be classy Mm, disagree what do you mean What, what classy or boring Classy. Boring. Uh, beer pong. Oh, snap. Bl- <laughs> beer pong ben splash zone. Sna- I like that. Beer pong, beer pong splash zone. Uh, we had guest book message. Here comes the beep. You know what to do. Yeah, cute. That's from friends. So you should appreciate that. Yeah, I just like the... Like, okay, okay, thanks. Um, <laughs> cards. Let's assume you've been kind. So thanks very much. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then we had the reserved signs. The... Um, what's this one? Oh, I did toiletry sign to go with the toiletries. Yep, cute. You look amazing. Ladies, help yourself, blah, blah, blah. Um, we then had the speech cards, which I only just realized Brian didn't use his, if you mean. Your dad did though, because in My his dad photos, used it. he's got- I like, used a, it. I always think, don't use a phone, don't use anything, ma- get it to match your stationery. Yeah, it just looked, looked nicer. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't hate Brian because at least his paper wasn't like screwed up and it wasn't off his phone. And then to me, a non-negotiable, oh, sorry, the reserve signs as well. And then a non-negotiable to me is a logo. Just saying. Yeah, I agree. They're, they are unbelievably easy to make. Yep. They're free to put on stuff. If you're printing a sign anyway, there's no issue having the logo on there. Yep. Um, and they just look cute. They just tie everything in together. I agree. Even if it's like super subtle. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be a whole ting. There we go then. So... Let's just name all of the stationery for people. I know. No, let's just name the ones that are okay. Let's do non-negotiables, and then we'll do nice to haves. Welcome sign. Table plan. Do it in order. 
Welcome sign. What's next? Reserve seating signs. Oh, fucking hell. Why not doing it in order? I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Start again. Welcome sign. Reserved seats sign. Order of service. If you're at a church. Yep. Um, table plan. Name places. Table numbers. Table or numbers, names. yeah. They're like non-negotiable. I feel like that is, you have to turn up to a wedding with these. Yep. <laughs> nice to have. Then, then my next level of like the medium, these are ones that you should have. Newspapers. Um, menus. Yep. Order of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then nice to haves are things like prop shop. Prop, yeah. Drinks, things, yeah. signature cocktails. Again, it's just, I can't express how easy it is to personalize something that you're already doing. The pics are well cute. With as a well. sign. Yeah. Yeah. If you're having two drinks, if you're having a reception drink when people arrive, just fucking name it something and write it on the sign. You haven't got to change anything else. Just call it. I don't know. Yeah, agree. A uh, Beth's right. Are you ready? Boba f- tea. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. What? Beth's boba tea. Ew. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Bitch, some bride. I want. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This one. It better be good. It, it's more. Uh, yeah. It's more. It's just a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. Okay. I have booked a wedding venue for next year. Crazy excited. Blah, blah, blah. Recommended by the venue to attend their uh, wedding fair. Seems like a great idea. Yeah, we always recommend going to that. So cool. Arrived um, having to confirm attendance. So they obviously know that how many people are coming to a sparse, dirty reception room with four tables, dirty cutlery, dirty glassware. One glass was chipped. Floor was dirty. Wedding ceremony chairs that were put out that had marks on them. So it's alarm bells at this point. So thinking this is a wedding fair and they're trying to keep nice things out. Um, I pointed out the stains to the venue coordinator we've worked with and she confirmed that because they were having less chairs that they just wouldn't use those ones. <laughs> Very flippant. Um, basically left the venue in tears and sheer panic. Cried it out, emailed the, the place and they now haven't replied to her for four days and have said, we'll book a meeting in. Booked the meeting, they travelled to get there and then the wedding coordinator wasn't there. She had to go back for a family emergency and that they should wait until tomorrow get out now go but deposit is paid five thousand pound deposit not fucking worth it five thousand pounds you'd be able to get money back you would be able to get money back based on that imagine imagine going to a wedding fair it's not worth it honestly that is the type the wedding fair is used to impress and get new clients get oh we just won't use the stain chair oh my god i'm so sorry like who would let that wedding fair go ahead I'd be mortified. If somebody, like, genuine things happen. The fact she wasn't there for that meeting, that meeting was make or break. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's your chance to, like, pull out all the stops and say, let's write down stuff. But but genuine question then, if you're getting married and you book your venue and they say, if you cancel, you don't get that deposit back, would you still cancel and lose 5,000 pounds? Absolutely. Would you? Mm -hmm. And go where? It's going to be the worst day of your life with them. I think with your venue, you, I think with every supplier, you give them three chances. Three? Three chances. Okay. Where's their chances? The wedding fair. Wedding fair. Meeting. No, she then questioned it and she said we won't uh, use them. Yeah, okay. Third, you didn't turn up to I meeting. don't know if I'd give someone three chances. Done. That's a no, lot of chances. Oh, but like chilled, wrong. chilled like, chances. Like things happen and, and they have, they've taken four days to reply to an email. How long to reply to an email? Too many chances. Things will go wrong. And th- mm. Like it's manpower, human error. Things will happen. Yeah. Like you're working with technology, you're working with all of that. Things will go wrong. But it's how you come back from that. Like yeah. you can't say your whole career, everything's gone perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, the human error stuff, but yeah, never yeah. never more than one. Mm. But you know when that one thing has gone like wrong? Like if I've missed a meeting, for example, if something's been in, I'm like, fuck, it's not in my diary. That That is one chance. One chance and you'll And never. I tell you what, that second meeting, I'm fucking prepped beforehand, <laughs> after, like. <laughs> yeah, like, so things will go wrong. Yeah, I think it's more, it's not really the things going wrong. It's how people deal with stuff. Like Absolutely. if a venue said, mortified, let's make sure there's really clear notes on your your sheet. Let's make sure that everything is like perfect for you and apologize. Then I feel like I can get on more. I also more. say you've got to be, vocal about if something's bothering you with a supplier yes. tell them yes Let, give them opportunity to fix it or change the way of doing something for you like we're not mind readers if you Agreed. don't like the way we're communicating then say i'd rather just have this line of communication or nice i like know. that well done um i'd like to end on a tip jar 
even though you got rid of my jar oh, weeks ago, right, but go I'm bringing what, it back. What's your tip? No, I want to ask you. Ugh. How do couples deal with venues that aren't willing? So say they're not having a styling company. Yep. How do they deal with venues putting things out properly? What's the best way to communicate what they want and how do they make sure their cloths are steamed? Hmm. Okay, in terms of decor, mock it up, take a photo, box table has every table has an individual box with exactly what's going on each table take a photo it's like foolproof act like you're speaking to a child that's two years old and you need them to put out nice like it's the easiest way to do it um steam tablecloths ask a lot of them won't yeah why don't they do that the labor behind it's mad yeah you don't have the time like but the charge I get, I get why people don't do it like yeah i'm not i'm not slating people for not doing it but it's the manpower. You're talking like it adds two hours on mm. to steam and iron and... So what would your advice be though? There isn't. Do it yourself. Allocate someone in the bridal party to do it if you're that bothered. Pay someone extra to do it. Yeah. Maybe we need to start a, a linen steaming, steaming company. company. <laughs> uh, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. No. Mm, it's tricky. It's tricky. Because also, do you pick rustic tables then to avoid any... Yep. Because I do think a bare table is better than a yeah. really like, and to be fair, I've never seen a venue where the cloths look disgusting. I have, but yeah, like you have no, but I mean, I don't mean the crease. You know the iron lines. Yeah, they're annoying. But I mean, this is the back end of I think. But like the creases all around the middle of it and you stuff. Have. Have you I? have. You've been there. Where all your coordinators have been there. Oh, okay, fine. Did they steam them? I said them. Yeah. And they asked and they were like, no, yeah, we'll do it. And they started uh, doing it. I was like, you need to ask again. And she's like, for God's sake. Did she just do it in the end? No, she made them do it. Oh, good. Your nice. coordinator was like, you're doing that. The bride will not be happy. Oh, good on her. Yeah, she was good. Show I was like, you can go and ask them. They're horrible. <laughs> 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 she was like, oh, okay. And she I'll did it, it twice. And she made sure, she, I think she asked them three times in the end. I was like, that needs to be done. Good. We've got half an hour to go. I think, yeah. I think you just, it's, it's managing expectations, just knowing what it's going to look like. Yeah. And if you're not happy about figuring out something else. Mm-hmm. But I agree with the boxes. That makes my job easy as well. Mm-hmm. When they're like, here's table one. Here's all the names on table one. And here's, here's a, a picture candle. of it. Yeah. Put your, put your bloody names in order. Honestly, it's the oh, easiest thing. Thank you. Thank you. Like for when you've that. got to like skip through all the names and you're like a hundred names and you've got to like literally go table one, the person facing the bride and groom yeah. or groom and groom, bride and bride, and you follow it around clockwise. Yeah. Done. Yeah. yeah. I Make agree. Life easy. That would and also please can you name them on the table plan the same because same. when it says nan i don't know that joan is your nan yeah like, I, I can guess <laughs> i will have a good guess val like, nicknames so hard <laughs> yes when they put bloody, I, oh no i can't say what name it was on there but there was a very naughty c word on one the other day and i was like i can't guess who this is for <laughs> and it's a bold move to put it down <laughs> yeah. um okay thanks for that um quick one yeah so audio guest book so you know we have an audio guest book yeah um how do you feel about people using the C-bomb on the audio guestbook. Because I've got um, a really nice message of like, oh, I love you guys so much. Hope you have the most amazing day. And then like the bride going, hi, it's your wife, blah, blah, blah. And the next one is mates going, you're up. Oh. Do you keep it in? (laughs) I took, so we got ours sent and we could go through the messages to get rid of some if we wanted to. Did you get some? I did get rid of, I got rid of one, I think. Who is it from? (laughs) I will say it. I don't know if she listens, but um, Hetty, um, and it's only because they'd already done one earlier that was a really nice one. And then the next message was actually a really sweet one from one of my bridesmaids' partners, which he is not sweet. So for that to be... And then the next one was Hetty going, way like, like, it was funny, but it didn't... It Go. wasn't a good end. Yeah. It was like I wanted it to end on the quite yeah. sweet one. Um, I think she dropped the C-bomb in that. I'm sure she did. Mm-hmm. But I find them funny. Like, I think it depends on mm-hmm. the person. I would ask them. Because well, I, I've sent it before and I was like, there's a few C-bombs, let me know if you want to take them out. Yeah. Can you beep them out? No, probably not. You can, but it's like, do you want them? Because the, the problem is we can't play any of ours with Isla around. Yeah. Because they're all, but but that's good for us. That's yeah. what I wanted. That's the reason. I, th- I think if you want nice messages, have it out in the day and put it away. Yes. And then. Good tip. Yeah, thanks. There you go. Can have that. There we go. Oh, what a way to end. Mm. Dropping the C-bomb. Um, anything you want to end on? No, just have a look at the tour tickets yeah we're very excited we're gonna go and do some i went very glossy then didn't i right. we're sure. gonna go and have it <laughs> we are going to go and have a look at more plans for that mm-hmm. and i think it's going to be epic yeah it will be it'll be good fun anyway thanks for listening guys we will see you next week with more goss bye <laughs>